Aquarius, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am going to do a bi-weekly for you guys. It's going to cover the next two weeks. It's going to go from May 7th to May 20th, 2018. Those of you that are new, welcome. Thank you guys so very much for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please click the pink subscribe. I would so very much appreciate that. So Aquarius, I am using... Wheel of the Year for your reading. Beautiful deck. I'm also going to be pulling you messages from your angels. And also a Romance Angels card. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. And as always, Aquarius. Did I just say Aries? I think I did. Aquarius. Aquarius. I literally, Aries is uploading right now. Um... But as a reminder, Aquarius, if the reading does not resonate with you, please just look at your other signs. Those of you that would like to get a private reading, connect with me on Facebook, Instagram. All the links are right below the video in the description box. Sorry about the screw up there, Aquarius. 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 Spirit. Aquarius. The Sun card literally did just fly out of the deck for you guys. So maybe a Leo is important. That's a whole lot of happiness, abundance, good health, feeling enthusiastic, vibrant. Some of you could be traveling to a warm, sunny place. Beautiful energy. Aquarius. Sun, moon, and rising sun. Spirit. Aquarius. All my Aquarius subscribers, the 7th to May 20th, 2018. Okay, your cards feel really good. Maybe not. Let me be sure. Try that again. Okay. I am going to do um, 10 cards for you guys um, because I'm doing a bi weekly for you guys. Okay, first card out is the devil. It's very passionate, lusty energy in this card, in this deck. Next to the Page of Cups. Two of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. The Fool. Notice you get the Wheel of Fortune in this card too. Sign of Aries. Um, King of Wands. Three of Cups. Two of Wands. The overall energy. This card has been out. I literally just did Aries. It was out for Aries. Who else? Scorpio. And, yeah, for Aries, it was literally the overall energy, too. And at the bottom of the deck, you're coming into the reading with the energy of the King of Swords. So, an air sign for some of you, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, could be important. Or this could be definitely your energy. You know, very logical... But very warm, too. There's a warmth. You know, with the fireplace, there's a warmth. He's holding it, you know. And I know the Bible. I mean, it could represent legal decisions and stuff like that. But there, there's a warmth and, and, a, and, a, and an, an honesty and a passion about him. 
in this card, in this deck, I feel like. You know, many of you, this is your energy. Definitely feeling logical, thinking things through, planning things out, paying attention to the details before you move forward with anything. There's a decision here, a choice. You know, there's definitely a head over heart decision here. Or a choice. And I think that's exactly why the King of Swords is here for some of you. You could be making a choice or a decision. And you're really spending some time thinking about it. I see you really with the Five of Pentacles here too. Really thinking, contemplating. Really thinking things through. You're putting a lot of thought into this decision or choice that you're making. This could be related, you know, on the romantic relationship or any sort of partnership, a business partnership for some of you, even a friendship. For some of you, there absolutely could be a situation going on involving three people. You know, the King of Swords is a very serious person. It's also a person that will... Use that sword and cut ties from someone or something that's no longer serving them. You guys are air signs. You know this. So I defi definitely feel like for some of you, you've been dealing with someone or something that's really no longer serving you. And with the devil, you will use that sword and cut ties. If this is an unhealthy relationship, you're making the choice. Or making the decision. Some of you are definitely cutting ties from what's no longer serving you. Whether it's an unhealthy relationship, a business partnership, that's just... All wrong with the devil. And it could be anything. You know, even anything that's in excess. You know, which is, pa you know, it could be passion, lust. If it's in excess. It could even be, you know, a bad behavior, an addiction. But whatever it is, it, it's definitely no longer serving you. It's restricting you. It's blocking you from moving forward. And whatever this is, however you relate to this, I do think that it's been weighing on you big time. It's getting you down. It's getting you sad. And it could be why you're taking action with the King of Swords. You're going to literally cut to the truth of the matter. Make a decision and start a new beginning. Because the fool is right under this. You're going to take a risk, a leap of faith. Some of you are going to definitely leave an unhealthy relationship, bad relationship, and you're going to do it quickly. You're going to move forward quickly here. You're going to just, you're, roll, you're bouncing. You're, you're just rolling right out of here. There could be another person involved here with the lovers and the Three of Cups. There could be another person that interests you. You know, you've been probably trying to cut ties from someone or something that's no longer serving you for a while. A relationship that is dead and gone. It's not going any, anywhere, unfortunately. I'm sorry, those of you that don't want to hear that. 
but you could be communicating with someone concerning a decision you know that you're making or receiving a decision you know you could be involved with someone that is married and it's a toxic bad marriage because you also have the page of cups this is exciting communication coming in and for some of you this could be related to career you could be receiving communication a decision that you've been waiting on in regards to finances career and i feel like this would have been something you've been dealing with really for a while you know because really i see you in the past just feeling down you know down and out broke you know confused indecisive And with the King of Wands, definitely a hot, warm, passionate King of Wands here. Aries Leo Sag. Could be receiving this decision or communication from a fire sign person. This could definitely be the, the person. Wow. This could definitely um, be the person that you're communicating with. This person definitely, I feel, is very important for some of you. For, you know, for some of you, this could be you taking action. You know, there's something that you want, something that you're very passionate about. And this is you literally cutting ties, taking a leap of faith, making a decision, and moving forward. And with the energy of the King of Swords, you have thought this through carefully. You know what it is that you want. And you're taking action towards this new beginning. You know, some of you definitely are weighing your options. You're teeter-tottering, going back and forth. You know, I think in the past, you know, you, you were doing the same thing over and over again. Like, nothing was happening with the Five of Pentacles. It definitely could have been something that got, you know, that had gotten you down, feeling sad, depressed, losing faith. Honestly, you could have just felt a lack of love, a lack of support, a lack of something within that relationship. You know, that's why you decided to weigh your options. You literally, you, you, you know, for some of you, you probably met someone else. You have a very strong connection with, you know, and you're, you're teeter-tottering. You're going back and forth. Do I leave this unhealthy relationship for this new person? Or do I continue sitting here and not getting anything out of this relationship that you're already, that you're currently in? Now, you know, it's a general reading. Whether this is romantic or business, I, I do feel like for the majority of you that can relate to this in regards to a partnership, a relationship, I honestly feel like you're choosing the third person. You're definitely choosing the third person, like the other person, the other business partner. And I feel for some of you, this is someone that you're friends with, with the Three of Cups. You know this person. You're friends with this person. You know, the Three of Cups is a social energy. It represents friends getting out and about, being social. And for some of you, that's exactly what you need to do. If you've been feeling like this... Five of Pentacles energy, down and out, sad, lonely. You really do need to talk to your friends and get out and about. Think about your future. 
some of you are definitely doing that. You're putting down roots or making the decision to. You're thinking about your future. Making a decision to take these plans and ideas that you have for yourself and execute them. You know, to go for this new beginning. Take this leap of faith. I know, and I, and I, you're, 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 I definitely see you being very successful with this, feeling very good and confident, feeling good about this emotionally. With the Two of Pentacles here, for some of you, this is definitely related to career. Maybe you are waiting on a decision in regards to your career. This could be something that has been going on for a while, but I do feel like the energy is shifting. Like you're gonna, you're going to release yourself from what's no, from whatever it is. You're taking the steps to free yourself that's from what's no longer serving you. You're, you're definitely doing that over the next two weeks, which is beautiful. Let me get you guys messages from the angels and a romance angels card. Aquarius. Additional guidance for Aquarius. Exactly what you're doing. You're cutting ties from what's no longer serving you. It's take time to take back control of your life. And what's interesting is Aries got that card too. If anybody, if you guys have Aries in your chart, you might want to look at that. Oh, Isaiah, it is a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life. I am watching over you, guiding you, and protecting you during these changes. This is very much a very fertile energy, being very fertile with creative ideas, hobbies, plans, things that you want to do in the future, things that you want to give birth to. It's a great time to do that. You know, like I said here, putting down those roots, making those plans. It's a great time to do that. It's a great time to start new things within your life. It's beautiful. If this is something related to like a business partnership or a new job, it's a great time to do it. You know, you're being guided and protected during these changes. And I definitely see many of you making changes. Very important decisions here. Changes that are going to affect you on a very positive level, Aquarius. Big time. A very positive level. Yeah, look at that. You're definitely moving forward. Taking your shit and you're bouncing. Literally. Whatever it is for you. I like it. Very nice. Alright guys. If the reading didn't resonate, definitely please look at your other signs. But I hope you all have a beautiful, blessed two weeks. For those of you that follow me for the morning cards and on Instagram, I will see you guys back here very, very soon. Till then, guys, have a beautiful two weeks. Bye-bye.